Have you ever wondered just how good Korean golfers are, especially how they fare on the various tours and competitions? These athletes tend to have a unique way of entering a competition and showing the top guns who's boss. If you want to know the secret behind the making of these unstoppable swinging sensations from Korea, their lifestyle, and just how good they are, stick around until the end. South Korea is a country of about 51.7 million people living on 39,000 square miles of land. It's a homogeneous society known for its competitiveness, shown in how this nation, the size of the U.S. state of Indiana, is the 10th largest economy in the world behind giants like Japan and China. So how is this ambitious spirit of this country linked to the success of its athletes in golf? It started with the rise of Korean athletes in the gentlemen's game back in 1998, while the country was struggling amidst the Asian financial crisis. Unemployment rates tripled, big businesses folded up, and things couldn't get any worse. But in early July of that year, a bright light shone over the entire country from the triumphant golfing of a South Korean woman on American soil. It happened that around the time the world was watching Tiger Woods shoot golf into the stratosphere, a 20-year-old young lady was about to become the pride of her country and the beginning of a new era in golf. Pak Sari's birdie on the second sudden death hole of a telecast U.S. Women's Open thriller against America's Jenny Chiseraporn made it the first time a South Korean player won a major in the United States. And this meant a lot to her people back home in Asia. The greatest tribute to her career came in a column by Golf World writer Eric Adelson in 2008, who called Pak a pioneer who changed the face of golf even more than Tiger Woods. She was inducted into the World Golf Hall of Fame in 2007. During her career, she had 39 professional wins, which included 25 LPGA Tour and 14 LPGA of Korea Tour. Pak had a net worth of $10 million, and she's endorsed by various brands, including Korea Development Bank, Hana Financial Group, and Volvit. Pak's success on and off the course created a chain reaction, and other South Korean athletes began to believe they could also do what Pak had done. It didn't take too long before new talents began springing up from different corners of the country, one of which is Im Sung Jae. Im Sung Jae is currently the highest ranked Asian player on the PGA Tour. He is also ahead of Japanese star pro golfer Hideki Matsuyama. Im won twice and was Web.com's Player of the Year in 2018. He was Rookie of the Year for the 2018-2019 PGA Tour and clinched his first tour victory at the Honda Classic in March 2020, earning $1.26 million. He would earn the same amount after his second PGA Tour win at the 2021 Shriners Children's Open. On the money list, Sung Jae is in second place behind the American Justin Thomas with $4 million. Due to his impressive golf career, Im got various sponsor opportunities from brands around the world. These deals have helped to increase his visibility and elevate his profile in the golfing world. Im's primary endorsement brand is CJ Logistics, a global logistics company based in South Korea. He has also signed sponsorship deals with well-known brands, including Titleist, a golf equipment brand, and Legardier Sports for global management and marketing representation. The foremost agency manages some of the top pro golfers around, including Phil Mickelson. Having signed with a brand managing a top golfer as lefty, expect to see Im Sung Jae rise these rankings as he is one of the top rising young golfers on tour. On a side note, if he wins a major, Sung will be allowed to forego Korea's mandatory two-year military service. Speaking of another Korean who forewent his country's mandatory military service, James Han is quite a remarkable golfer. Born in South Korea's capital city and raised in Alameda, California, Han played collegiate golf at the University of California in nearby Berkeley and turned pro after graduating in 2003. He also played on the Canadian, Gateway, and Korean tours before joining the Nationwide Tour in 2010. After recording five top 10 finishes in his rookie season, Han finished 29th on the tour's money list. And in June 2012, he picked up his first tour win in 2012 at the Rex Hospitals Open after defeating Scott Perrell in a playoff. He went for the green in two on the decisive par five because he had a flight to catch. 
James then proceeded to board a plane to California to play in sectional qualifying for the US Open the following day. He won the event and played in his first major at the 2012 US Open. In February 2015, at Riviera Country Club, he won his first PGA Tour event. James earned $327,000 in his penultimate season of 2019-2020 when he played just 12 tournaments. He has a net worth of $10 million and he's sponsored by Stackhouse Entertainment Group and IBSA. James is currently married to Stephanie Hahn and the couple have an eight-year-old daughter named Kaylee. But being a dad doesn't stop James from acting all childish after holding a long-range birdie putt, or does it? After holding a long-range birdie putt on the par 3 16th at TPC Scottsdale, the then 31-year-old unleashed the popular Gangnam-style dance right there on the green. Han was so caught up in the dance that he totally forgot to get his ball out of the cup. But guess who never forgets to get her ball out of the cup? Yeah, that's NB Park. Park plays on the LPGA Tour and the LPGA of Japan Tour and has been the number one ranked golfer in the women's world golf rankings for four separate runs within April 2013 and July 2018. NB became a household name in the golf world after she won the U.S. Women's Open in 2008 at 19 becoming the youngest ever winner. She has won seven major championships in her career, 20 overall victories, and she's the second player after the Swedish Annika Sorenston to win the Women's PGA Championship three years in a row. She is the only seventh golfer to win four different majors and capture a career Grand Slam. In 2016, Park won the first Olympic gold medal since 1900 in the Women's Individual Tournament. We can keep going on and on about her achievement, but most importantly, she has been named the LPGA's Player of the Decade, making her the best Korean female golfer in the LPGA. She has a net worth of $15 million in earnings and has endorsement deals with KB Financial Group, Mercedes-Benz, Panasonic, and Lynx, to name a few. But while Park continues to dominate the LPGA Tour, check out the next golfer who has been dubbed the next Tiger Woods. Kim is the son of Kim Chang-ik, a professional golfer who featured on the Buy.com tour before becoming a teaching professional. Chang's job saw the family reside in Australia before moving to the Philippines and later Thailand for a couple of years. Even as the Kims frequently relocated, Tom never stopped practicing the game as he soon became known for. In 2018, the then 16-year-old won the Philippine Amateur Open Championship and the W Express RVF Cup Amateur Championship, and things just couldn't get any better. Now the 20-year-old golfer doesn't get phased much anymore. Kim has been playing professionally since he was a teenager, secured full-time status on the American-based tour with two season-ending victories last year and has quickly become a buddy of various top golfers like Justin Thomas, Max Homa, and Jordan Spieth. Tom has a net worth of $1.5 million in 2023 and has earned over $3 million altogether in his professional career. Kim only recently started participating in the PGA Tour events and has already earned a $1 million in prize money. He also earned a total of $2.8 million from various official events last season. Apparently, it turns out Kim isn't the only golfing sensation from Korea making the rounds. Siwoo Kim joined the PGA Tour after turning pro in 2012. Throughout his career, Wu has earned four PGA Tour victories, including a historic win at the 2017 Players' Championship at the age of 21, becoming the tournament's youngest ever winner. However, Wu's journey to stardom wasn't without hassle. Due to the PGA Tour's rule that members must be at least 18 years old, the Korean didn't make his first appearance until midway through the 2013 season when he had to settle for some starts on what was now the Corn Ferry Tour. He soon regained his card for the 2016 season. And the rest, as they say, is history. And most recently, he won the 2023 Sony Open in Hawaii. As per Sportskedia, Kim has a net worth of over $16 million, and he's currently in partnership with Callaway Golf, which equips him with woods, wedges, putters, irons, and golf balls for his competitions. With their level of dedication and sheer zeal to dominate the golf world, these players will stop at nothing until they take the game to a whole new level while flying the Korean flag.
Let us know in the comments below what you make of these Korean golfers.